You driving? Some plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a plan B. Oh. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. I just wonder about the, uh, the bus trip from Canberra, what one of the better trips from Canberra? Yeah, it was very enjoyable, there's a lot of singing, but um, as, as I'm sure you're aware, alcohol consumption on a bus is illegal, so the boys are very well behaved. Um, but yeah, there was certainly some hymns and, and rhymes going down on the bus trip home. How have the last few days been? Um, yeah, the, it's been good. It, I, I think the boys are still soaking it all up, and um, I don't think we all realise what, what we've achieved together yet. Um, I think that'll take some time and I think the longer it goes, the more special it'll get. Such a dominant force over you know, the history of the Sheffield Shield. It's been four or five years since New South Wales won a title. How special is this one? It's very special just to get it back here and I don't think anyone that played in the final had won a Shield, so, or for us anyway, and, and certainly for them. So we're all new to that. Um, we'd had a couple of boys that had played in a few losing finals before. But um, certainly not not anyone who participating in a participated in a winning final team, and um, you know to, to bring that trophy back, to bring the shield back, is you know w what we've wanted to do for a very long time. And although it was a draw, it was a completely dominant display. Yeah, it was a dominant display, and I mean we finished first through the season, which allows you to play, which allows you to play like that, and and I think that's the way it should be. Otherwise, there's no real point in having ten championship rounds. When you look at the badges, New South Wales basically owns that shirt. Sorry? Bas New South Wales basically owns that shirt. Uh, no, look, I, I think um, yeah, obviously the history might suggest that with, I think, 46 wins now, but certainly over the last few years, um, you know, there have been some other states that have certainly contested that shield a lot more than we have, so it was nice to get it back and bring it back and hopefully start, um, start to create something very special now. That was Steve's leadership. How do you see him growing in the role? I think Steve's maturity as a cricketer and as a person has just come on in leaps and bounds over the last... Not, I mean, yes, he's had a whirlwind well, well 12 months, but I've seen it firsthand over the last you know, two to three years. He's just growing as a person and, and growing as a cricketer. And I can, you know, he's, got, he's got all the shots. We've, all, we've known that ever since he first started coming in to play for New South Wales cricket, but now it's just his willingness to outlast the pressure, whatever whoever it might be, whether it's you know, WA in this Shield final or whether it's South Africa in South Africa, um, he's just shown this you know, grit and determination to outlast whatever pressure the bowlers can put on him and his defence is as tight as ever. I think you know, if he keeps going the way he's going, the world's his oyster. What was it about this year that ensured you captured the Shield? I, you know, it was a, I don't think there was any particular moment. Um, I think every hour in the final we just kept working away and grinding away. Uh, I think we put in a lot of work through the pre-season, but I think if you ask the other five states, they would have done the exact same thing. So um, we, we like to think we train the right way and we, we, approach, we approach every game in the right manner. And I think that's obviously, you know, we, we did win. We, we were leading by six points after the championship rounds, which is quite a big deficit. So, um, you know, to go into the final with that, and but that didn't give us anything. You know, when you're in the final, it's it is a grand final, and um, you have to approach it in the way that it's just an opportunity to win another game. Because every young cricketer would, you would have grown up revering that that shield down there. And yeah, as, and as I mentioned to you before, it just hasn't quite sunk in yet. Um, We've celebrated a little bit as a team together and yeah, we've reminded each other what we've achieved but um, I think it's going to take a little bit more time to completely sink in and, um, and we've spoken about as a group that you know, we, we want this feeling more than once so we want to continue on doing this. And what about personally, do you hope it, it sets yourself up, I mean a bit of a break now but you know, looking further ahead you, you've had a great month and a half or, or so, you know, moving forward further on as hopefully? Yeah, I, I mean to be fair, all I have to worry about is, is how I perform and, and how New South Wales are playing. And all, as I mentioned before the last game, um, I felt that this Shield game was one of the most important games that I've played. And I think that my next Shield game will be the exact same. I think if I want to become a better cricketer and if we want to become a better state, we have to approach the next game as our most important game all the time.